well. People in the rural areas of Australia and, and some of areas that are now urban have been living on roof water forever and with no filters and with no, no even first flush systems. So the water straight off the roof into the tank. Now what they normally did was made sure that where the water goes into the tank is quite a big entrance point with uh, fly screen to stop mosquito larvae, mosquito getting into the tank and creating larvae in the tank. But otherwise, a little bit of sunlight getting into the tank gives you a biofilm of the local natural al algae. Algae just is, you know, algae naturally forms just from sunlight and organic matter. And the local algae is always going to form because you're always going to get a little bit of organic matter. And if the sunlight, can, a little bit of sunlight gets in the tank, you get a nice green film around the outside. Think of it like a mountain stream um, with, with nice green moss on the rocks. It just takes out the minor pollutants of, um, a, a, as you say, you know, wildlife. You know, really what you mean is like wildlife manures. Now, unless you live underneath a bat colony where they're dropping manure all the time or a bird colony that's getting enormous amounts of, of manure building up on your roof, that should work fine. But if you want to be absolutely sure, today you can buy a first flush unit. In fact, there's four different first flush units you can choose from, from the major hot hardware stores in Australia. And they're all approved by council. In other words, the water, before it goes in your tank, goes into this first flush chamber with a little ball in it that comes up, a sealed chamber comes up. The ball comes up, blocks off the water in the chamber, and the water then goes onto the tank. So it diverts a few litres of water and that water dribbles out. So you line that up for a garden. That's a first flush unit. So minor pollutants and minor fresh pollutants and small amounts of pollution get washed off your tank. Then after it's been through the tank, if we really want to clean it up more or if the local government wants to put regulations on you for serving the general public rainwater, we know this from running an institute. You can have UV, costs electricity. You can have double osmosis, costs electricity. You can use chlorine chemicals. That's what we're trying to get away from. But there is one way you can do it without any energy, and that is a Dalton ceramic filter. It's an American product. You can buy it in Australia. It's like a ceramic sheath inside a, uh, a, a filter um, which is a filter capsule it clips on and every now and again you've got to de take off this delicate um, ceramic sheaths and clean them out and that's it that would be the best one you could do if you really are concerned you want extra filter in for some reason people would live with a little bit of minor pollutants for centuries it's actually probably good for your immunity system get a bit of dirt in your system get a bit of um, connection to the outside world. I think that's what makes us sick a lot, sterility. But anyway, you can take out those final potential parasites and bacteria that you might be worried about with a Dalton ceramic filter. Look it up, Dalton ceramic filter.